We started Return to Dirt back in 2018 with the intent of returning people that have physical mobility impairment to the inaccessible backcountry using adapted off-road vehicles. And when we started, we had one barely modified UTV that literally only had hand controls and uh, steering orthotic. Now we uh, have created a program over the last handful of years that has grown quite a bit, but it all started with a couple friends that wanted to make the outdoors more accessible for anyone and everyone that wanted to get there. We've grown that now to multiple off-road UTVs with all kinds of different adaptations. Equipment and tools are, are a huge part of what gets us outside and allows us to get on the trails and do these things. Trailers and trucks and our team has a whole new level of knowledge for getting into the backcountry and since then we've put more than 5,000 hand control miles down and more than 128 athlete experiences over the course of the last four years. Can-Am stepping in and supporting us is, is a huge step in the right direction of growth for us. Being able to have the opportunity to integrate with High Fives and grow with industry partners and involve more and more donors is, is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, it'd be impossible for us to run the trips that we're trying to run. It's a significant level of freedom that I don't know if you can quantify it without seeing it for yourself and experiencing it for that matter.